lo and behold, they have a black currant one and then they also have a citrus one, I think is what he said. But he got me the black currant one for this week. Hey guys, it's Jocelyn. I'm coming with a drink of you. Finally! I'm really excited about this one. Colin picked it out. It'll be a good one since I'm finally back and doing one by myself, which is totally weird because I don't even know what to do by myself anymore. Colin may come in in just a minute because he just got off work, so he's on his way up here, and the cat will make some appearances. There, there she is, right there. She thinks she has to be next to me all the time. Don't you? Don't she? Or Colin. She really likes Colin too. Colin found this and then he told me, hey, so I got your drink review for this week. And I was like, oh, what is it? He said, it's one of the new 1893 Pepsis. And I was like, I thought they just had ginger and regular. Lo and behold, they have a black currant one. And then they also have a citrus one, I think is what he said. But he got me the black currant one for this week. It is made with cola nut extract, black currant essence, sparkling water, and real sugar. There are 150 calories per can, 39 grams of sugar, 39 grams of carbs, and 55 milligrams of sodium. This might be a little crazy and fizzy. We might have a really fun experience on our hands. I knocked it over when I was setting up the tripod. I actually totally forgot about the drink review and I was about to wash my face and do my workout and everything for the night and then I looked in the mirror and I was like but your makeup is flawless so you need to do the drink review because it's flawless and it probably won't be this flawless for a long time without further ado let's hear that favorite my favorite sound in the world <sighs> okay so far no fizzes maybe good maybe I froze it oh nope I didn't freeze it either I put it in the freezer before I did this. It smells like regular Pepsi. You can't really smell the black currant taste in it. I'm really kind of expecting a, like a Fanta, you know, the fruity Fantas. That's kind of what I'm expecting, but we'll see. Um, I'm gonna try that one more time. I don't really taste any kind of black current. It says premium cola infused with a bold berry finish. I don't taste any berry. I'm gonna try one more time. Okay that time I did. Definitely not as bold as a Fanta with the flavoring. The berry is kind of it's almost an aftertaste. It's just very 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 faint. I like it. It's really good. I mean it's very comparable to the other 1893 colas. It tastes the same and then there's like a little bit of blackberry. So definitely not what I was expecting since I was expecting such the bold, almost overwhelming flavor like Fanta. This was definitely not overwhelming in flavor at all. It's cool. It's definitely something that is is probably a big seller for them because it's new and it's definitely advertised as a little bit healthier because it's got the real sugar instead of artificial. It doesn't have any high fructose corn syrup so that's still a plus for me. And the flavor I am really glad that it wasn't overpowering but I would have liked a little bit more. So overall I'm probably going to give this one a 7 out of 10. It's not a bad rating. I would buy it again. There's, but I mean it's nothing special. I wouldn't necessarily choose it over my favorites. But anyway, so 7 out of 10 on the 1893 Black Current Cola. It's a good Coke, just not necessarily what I expected. I don't know where Colin is. He was supposed to be here by now. I don't even know what time it is. What time is it? 10.34. He got off at 10 o'clock. I don't know where he is. Might have gotten off late again. But it's fine. Me and the cat will just hang out. Oh, look at her. She's so cute right now. Oh my gosh. I just became one of those cat people on the internet. It's fine. Look at her. Oh, my baby. She was a rescue. My roommates and I in Portalis found her when she was pregnant. Somebody had abandoned her and this was four years ago. She had a couple of litters after that and then when I moved here I couldn't leave without her. Now she's a fat spoiled house cat. She used to be an outdoor cat because we couldn't have pets at our place in Portalis. So she's got a special place in my heart because I worked really hard to keep her alive. <laughs> And also to keep her out of the shelter because the shelter in Portalis is a high kill shelter and 
kind of have a heart for animals. So anyway, little plug about me that you didn't know. Definitely a cat girl. I love cats. Before I met Colin, I thought I was going to be a crazy cat lady. My mom was kind of a crazy cat lady. So that's just kind of what I anticipated. If y'all have any suggestions for me, leave them down in the comments. I know that there's a couple that I need to get to. Right now, there's so many different things for me to do. <laughs> I'm just kind of doing it. But leave me suggestions down below. I do have a list going from just about anywhere. I mean, Sonic, McDonald's, Starbucks, cans, energy drinks. I will do alcoholic, but that one, I mean, if there's something you really want me to try, I'll try it. But I'm not going to go out and spend $30 on a drink kind of thing. Waters, juices, Cokes, whatever. I will do it. So just leave them down below. And you guys, I still need a cool nickname for me. I don't have one. There were some suggestions, but there weren't very many. So I need suggestions. Colin and I love y'all the mostest and I will see y'all next week or in another food review. I don't know. We're doing a lot of things together lately. It's pretty nice. Anyway, so I will see y'all later. I hope you have a wonderful Friday afternoon and I will see y'all next week. Bye guys!